Good morning. Just so it won't be a completely silent movie, we're out here at Rio Dosa Downs on the racetrack in the Cowboy Symposium 2019, about halfway through October, and it is pretty today. Nice and cool this morning, a little bit of a breeze going now, and we are out here in the Chuck Wagon Village, and there's going to be way more to see than we're going to have time to see before we have to get back inside. Morning. Morning, how you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Well, I understand that. That's the story of my life. And here you go, Wes. That's what you need for a tent right there. That's what I need for a tent, too. The pyramid tents are pretty nice. I have to admit, I'm not sure how those poles stay straight up and don't fall over sideways. I'll have to investigate that further. Now we're out here about 9 o'clock in the morning and everybody's cooking breakfast getting ready. Now see that's how I'm used to doing it with a center pole up in the middle. Morning. I like the tent. Where are you? Don't get behind me. Why? Because I'm wearing... Morning. Okay, I'd like that. You're all enclosed nice in here. I bet it's comfortable in here. It's getting hot in here. Would you let this way? Now where are y'all out of? We're from Lubbock, Texas. Well, we know where that is. We live about uh, 30 miles northwest of you, Amherst. Oh, God, my goodness, yeah, you do. <laughs> where are you from? Amherst. Hmm, that is nice. Look at all that. Yeah, he's a cat. Uh, it's 
Morning. Seems like. firewood and cow chips, buffalo chips. Now if y'all are watching this and noticing some of the details with the wagons and stuff, in addition to having cooking competitions and that kind of thing, they also have a historical accuracy competition where they are judged based on the accuracy of their wagons and the equipment and the accoutrements that are on there too. So that's why a lot of that is the way it is. Morning, y'all. Morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Awesome. Good. How are you? From La Junta, huh? Uh, yeah. No, it's La Junta. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> I, might, I might be known for messing with people when I can. Okay. <laughs> I've actually been there. Been to Ben's Fort and all, so that's a neat place. Yeah? I'm pretty sure that's where Ben's is, isn't it? Ben's Fort in La Junta? You have to ask that guy right there. I feel like it is. <laughs> Y'all all ready for a big crowd? Oh, yeah. I don't think it matters if we're ready, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cody Rogers to make us some of these. I bet he could. And if Joel and I will ever get our blacksmith stuff set up, we can make those. There's a lot of things we hadn't got around to doing yet. One of the things I like about coming out here is that a lot of these folks have bigger and better cast iron collections than me and not a lot of people can say that. Nope. That's clever with the shovel. <laughs> you can tell we're in a different world than where we live when you have to sit your butter out in the sun so it'll cool warm up a little bit. Good morning. Hello. 
How are you? Good, how are you? We're alright so far. Chad, how are you this morning? Good, how are you doing? Good. Sue didn't even recognize you. Well, I'm all dudded up today. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, you too. I wondered where you were out here. I figured I'd bump into you. Yeah, I said Colorado and our flag won't stay out. <laughs> I do that. I don't hang one. The wind changes direction 800 times, wraps it up. Uh-huh. Y'all all ready? We, we finished rolls. We just finished the cobblers. I'll show you the cobblers. Saucier bubbling. Oh, yeah, that's right. The apricots. I forgot. You can take a little sample of that. Hey. We put that on top of the cobbler. That's nice. That's nice. I'm going to have to arm wrestle you for the recipe on that. That's good. Holy cow, Chad, that's good. Hey, that looks good. And that's what they, they worked out about right. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. We're doing just kind of getting ready to do potatoes here pretty soon. Uh huh. We're just a little ahead of schedule. This is that table you were telling me about, isn't it? I like that. That's pretty smart. And the aluminum thing is left over from the previous table, so it's not been fit perfect, but it works great today, even though yeah. the wind's coming at us. Uh huh. Now, do they count off on you for something like that for accuracy, or do they just go by the wagon? Gotcha. Gotcha. We had a 10 foot fly. Uh -huh. Just a little bit like yeah. they would on camp. And like that was the only chair here. No coolers, none of this. Stuff. Right, yeah. It was always still on the <clears throat> Like when we used to go to Rendezvous, there were times when you had to have everything completely perfect so that right. nobody could nobody could tell there was anything modern in it. And that's what it was here. Everything, yeah, we, we've kind of trashed it up since we started. <laughs> <laughs> that don't take long to do. Yeah. So then, yeah, we cook under this fly, and that way if the weather goes bad on us, we've got uh, curtains we hang down off yep, the side. Yep, yep. These other guys, some of them have. Yep. In fact, we were in one of these. I guess that one right over there, they had it all. Which one was it? One of them had it all sealed up and in, over yonder, there it is, yeah, they were, oh yeah. Yeah, we don't like to get too hot. Yeah. No, we were prepared to seal it up when you two. Uh, fact is, we've even moved this in, we've got two long sticks, we just stick it up and move it right inside. Uh -huh. In fact, we kind of like to do that, get the smoke on that, so waterproof. <laughs> exactly. You know, a lot of people, I've told them that and they don't believe that works. But I said, yeah, man, the longer you keep a piece of canvas up, the more waterproof it gets. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd build it. I'd get a new piece of canvas or tent or whatever else, build a fire inside, and keep it good and smoky for the first two or three days. Oh, shoot, sure, yeah. Uh, did you bring it? Works good. Did you bring Yeah, even the, clear at the end down there where the beans and the coffee pot is. Uh-huh. Uh, we set everything up except for the side pieces. Oh, okay. And once we're done judging, then we put the side pieces on to bring this out. Hmm. This table's not there. This one is. Uh huh. Yep. Now that table there, that wouldn't be considered anything. Okay. For judging. Uh huh. Well, they had side tables. Sure. We, we usually don't have enough when they judge. Okay. We okay. try to keep it pretty plain. You know, today is the first time I ever noticed the the skins up under there yeah. for collecting. Collecting cow chips. Possum belly. Possum belly, is that what it's called? Yeah, that's for picking up yeah. through the grassy plains. Yep, exactly. You even got a few cow turds in it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> a couple other people had that too. I'd never noticed one of those before. Yes, yeah, one other go along. Well, there wasn't a lot of woods, so they were picking up. Oh, heck yeah. You see, you see, you know, we talked about that somewhere we live out there, you know, northwest of Lubbock, there's no trees out there. I mean, there's just no trees. What do people do for fire? So there wasn't always buffalo chips, and she and the girls had read about where they would take actually weeds and grass and braid them together and make them good and tight so they'd yeah. burn longer. Oh, yeah. Well, when the, when the trail drives, there's about 
about the time the buffalo they were, were starting to disappear, yeah. mm -hmm. there were still a few around. So they, there was buffalo chips all over the plains there. Yeah, even then. This is Dave. Hi, Dave. He's the head guy. Right. We work for him. Okay. We work for a meal. We do this all for a meal. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think that's what most of life is, isn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> all for a meal and a little butt chewing. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> grief. I guess you throw that in for no extra, no, no, huh? No, they throw it in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the recipient. Well, you're doing it wrong, Dave. <laughs> I know it. Their vendors have been trying to mess last night. Yeah, I go you around. You guys are vendors? Yeah, she is. She is. What I've do been. You vend? Hair clips. Hair clips? Oh, yeah. I, still have I don't a think hair Dave, hair. I don't know. Dave yeah. doesn't need any of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was noticing your dress a little breezy over there. Yeah. <laughs> you need some for his mustache. <laughs> hair clips? Yeah. <laughs> Keep it from dripping in the food? Or uh, that adds authentic authenticity, doesn't yeah. it? Give it a little salty taste. No, I got to talking to Chad last night when he came by. I love this kind of stuff. I've been camp cooking on campfires and cast iron and Dutch ovens and everything since I was a little kid. My grandparents did this, and that's where so I started learning. I love this stuff. I truly do. Yep. Your coffee's still hot? Okay. Yeah. Here, I clean this empty. Warm. There's some in that pot right there. <laughs> Might be a little crunchy on the bottom, but it'll be good. That's the way we like it. It'll keep you awake. <laughs> Probably wouldn't hurt the pork, but I don't know. And if you pour it too long and the eggshell comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I did wash the spoon. You know, I've never, I've never done an eggshell in my coffee. Try it sometime. You can try those if you'd like. Let her try it first. It'll be too hot for me. I'm a pretty sissy. Hot. It doesn't change much very, very, very other hot. That's than... Careful. It takes if there's any little bit Tell me what you think, though. Yeah, it's good. I think you can. Well, I don't know. It you can't hurt our feelings. Tell we're having a problem with them right now. Better? Or no? There's something haywire going on. No, it's good. Is it good? It's got. What's it got in it? What am I tasting? Cumin? That's what I think is cumin. Uh huh. What else am I getting? I'm getting something else on the back side of my. Taste the onion a little bit. There's onion, ham. Uh, there's a, a like a bean spice in there. There's some cumin in there. Yeah. Uh, he just put some. Did you put some of those little chopped up chilies yeah. in there, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't put very many in because we only got one jar and we um, got to do the. There was a little bit of. Uh, it wasn't jalapenos. It was uh, Anaheim. The Anaheim jar. Yeah. There's not much sorry. spice. A lot of the people who show up for this are not going to like a lot of spicy stuff. That's going to be about right though. Really? Yeah. You never Mexico? know. People. Are, people are funny. Everybody talks about how they like it spicy, and then. You give them a dose of something that's not very spicy, and they're like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. So he thinks he's tasting the cumin in there. Well, that's what I thought. And I'm going to taste thought so too. too. Yeah, yeah, really? but it's, it's good, though. I don't care for cumin. Oh, do you not? Now, see, I like it. I like it. Well, not real like heavy, that but taste. that's about right there. Crap. What did I do? Oh, it's that spice, you know, that we tasted there. Well, I think you're right. My bean spice. I don't know. I think that's going to go good with the potatoes and the chicken fried stuff. All right. Well, good. I feel like it anyway. It's just got a funny taste that I don't normally have. Now, we've been told we had the best food ever on a certain thing, and we didn't place. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'll taste that and see if I can <laughs> take where yeah, what that happens. Picking up. That's what I'm picking up anyway. A little bit. A little bit, but it doesn't taste salty. Though. I can taste the salt in that. Right. But I didn't. I didn't pick up salt in that. What the heck can go bad in there? Oh, like I said, spices will go bad. Oh yeah, yeah spices. Okay. Will, they'll do funny things. Uh, three or four months, as they say. Is okay, and they're a year. year she old. said almost two years. I don't know. Yeah, they are. They're pushing two years. Yeah, so we was in Cortez two years ago. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're good. I like them. Good. I like right. them. We need to go. Okay, we need to go. I need to go. <laughs> you you got to go make some money, don't I gotta, you? Know? Yeah. Pay the way. There's nobody in there, so like, Close this is up the best time shovel. to come out. Yeah. True, I agree. Good stuff. It was nice talking to y'all. Yeah, Maybe I'll see you later on today. Glad you came by. Good luck, bud. Yep. Don't worry about what the judges say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what pays, that pays yeah. our gas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
back over to the tent now.